All right, we are in the farm today We're doing some beetle reclamation. I just made that up. Uh, you tell me what you think we should call it. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're taking these pupation bins, which are done. Uh, if I move this out of the way, you can see there's no unhatched pupa in here. There are some dead ones that unfortunately didn't make it. But there's still all these beetles in here, and I want to make sure that we collect those and give them a good home. Uh, these guys are still laying, only about two to four weeks old, uh, depending on when they actually hatched. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take these, collect them, go through that process, uh, put them in bins and keep them around for just four weeks instead of the standard eight weeks. We'll keep these around for four because uh, then they'll start tapering off. So from this point with these guys, let's get the beetles out, get this sifted. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. We're going to shake off the beetles that are on the paper towels down into the red bin here. And then we're going to put this through the sifter. So here we are with the sifting tower. Uh, this is a custom built tower, different mesh sizes um, used in these different trays here. So we harvest as well as uh, sift and sort. We've got a 1 8 inch mesh wire here. This is chicken wire. And we're going to put the beetles through to let the substrate through, but keep the beetles. So all we're going to do is look at this bin, make sure there's nothing in here that we don't want. Anything like cleaner crew, uh, mold, stuff like that. And as we pour that in, you can see on the bottom of the tray, all those clusters. Those are clusters of eggs. This is the, one of the reasons why I want to try to reclaim these instead of just getting rid of them after all those pupa have hatched. So now in this tray here, we're going to sift this, let the substrate fall through. And here we've got live beetles and also dead pupa. Dead pupa are fine. Uh, not really anything to worry about here. It's part of the natural cycle. You know, some of these things die. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take these and do the rest of the trays in a very similar fashion. Checking them again just to make sure everything's all right with the bin. and separating out the substrate. Lots of eggs there. All right, now we're going to separate the dead beetles, the dead pupa from the live beetles. Pretty straightforward process. We've got a bin here with egg cartons in it, just standard run of the mill egg cartons that hold eggs. And we're gonna pour the pupa, beetles, all the contents onto those egg cartons. And those live beetles are going to latch on. We'll give them a few seconds here just to start moving around, grabbing on. We're going to gently flip it over. And then shake those beetles that have stuck on there into that red bin. Repeat that for the other egg carton, get those beetles, and then keep going. And we're just going to continue this until we get through all of the trays that we need to finish out. So again, we're just letting them sit. Now we're going to flip them, shake off those beetles. Finish the second one here. Rinse, repeat. This is an ideal way to separate out live beetles from dead beetles as well. If you don't have any pupa, if you're just trying to clean up your beetle bin, 
separate out the substrate and use an egg carton to let the live beetles latch on. And you'll end up with dead beetles at the end. Throughout this entire process, we're just checking to see if there's anything in here, any cleaner crew, any bugs that might have gotten in that we don't want, just doing some quality control while we're sitting and waiting. There you can see a lot of beetles connected onto that mesh. Those are all alive. Now this process doesn't collect every single live beetle, so you're still going to have some that end up in this in this black tray, black bin, that are alive. But this is going to help to collect a majority of the live beetles. Things are looking good. So let's look at what we ended up getting here. Again, just doing a quick once over, checking to see if there's any larva in here, any cleaner crew. Again, just doing some inspecting. There's a cleaner crew. They're good at eating dead material, but they're pretty pro prolific. The beetle form actually flies, so I tend to get rid of them as soon as I see them. check these trays over here separate them out a little bit get them a little less dense so they're not as thick so we can get some eyes on anything that might be in here So normally what we'll do is we will put 1,500 beetles in a tray to lay eggs and party hard. Party before they lay eggs most of the time. Uh, but we're running short on trays. Uh, everything's going full production now. And so for this experiment, I'm going to go ahead and actually double up the amount we normally put in. So I'm going to put 3,000 beetles in just to see how they respond to that overpopulation. Generally, this would lower the production uh, and increase cannibalism. So I'm going to test that out and see if that's ultimately true or not. And so I'm just going to weigh out 3,000 beetles. The straightforward way to get that number, uh, the quantity here is to weigh it. So count 50, weigh, count 50, weigh, count 50, weigh, get your average, and then multiply it out. Everybody's farm is going to be a little bit different doesn't take a lot of time to do. So here's what we ended up with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, easy, easy number to count up to there. So each one of these has 3,000 beetles. And so we'll keep these trays in rotation for just four weeks. Normally we keep them in for eight weeks. Uh, when they're freshly collected, but since these guys have been hanging out in the pupa tray while we collect the freshly hatched beetles, we're going to reduce the time that we're going to keep them. And so we'll 
also keep track of these egg laden trays. I think this is going to hatch out to be a, a ton of mealworms. So we'll put the egg laden substrate back in into those trays. Add in a little bit of extra bran to give the mealworms something to eat while they grow. We'll check back in and see how things turn out. One of the things I'm curious to see is whether or not this quantity of mealworms is worth the time that it took. So we'll keep track of that and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.